Book Thief, Prologue, A Mountain Range of Rubble. The Book Thief, a novel by Marcus Zusak, begins with a prologue titled A Mountain Range of Rubble. In this part of the story, we're introduced to Death, the narrator, who gives us a compelling overview of what's to come. The prologue is divided into three sections, Death and Chocolate, beside the railway line, and the Eclipse. In Death and Chocolate, the narrator, Death, introduces himself and explains his unique perspective on life. He rejects the conventional dark and scary portrayal of death, instead describing himself as a sympathetic and tired figure, burdened with the task of collecting self. Death loves the colour of the sky as a soul is lifted and is particularly drawn to the colour of chocolate. In this way, Death encourages us to rethink the clichés about his character and consider his perspective. In the second part, beside the railway line, Death shares a specific story. In the winter of 1939, Death visits a train where a small boy has died. He notes the boy's mother, shattered by grief, and a girl, the boy's sister, who is oblivious to the death due to her youth. In this bleak and snowy setting, the tragedy is striking and paints a vivid picture of loss. In the eclipse, Death provides a glimpse into his future interaction with the young girl. He will meet her two more times. The next meeting is to claim the soul of a pilot who has crashed his plane and the girl is there. In the final meeting, it's the girl's soul he comes for when she's an old woman. It's through these meetings with the girl, who we learn is named Liesel Memminger, that death will narrate the unfolding story. The book Thief Prologue, a mountain range of rubble, is a fascinating introduction to a unique perspective of life and death. It sets up the framework for a heart-wrenching tale of survival loss and resilience during one of the most challenging periods in history, World War I. It offers us a unique narrator, Death, who is surprisingly sympathetic, painting a striking image of the harsh realities of life and the inevitability of death. As you delve into the prologue of The Book Thief, you'll notice the unconventional choice of Death as the narrator. Death isn't often considered sympathetic, but in this novel, Zusak reimagines him as a character who's exhausted and compassionate, not a fearsome figure to run from. By doing this, Zusak nudges you to reconsider the way you perceive death. You may find it interesting how death has a fascination with colours, specifically the colours he sees in the sky when he's gathering souls. He notes the colour of the sky at the boy's death and the colour of the sky when he collects the pilot's soul. He also mentions a fascination with the colour of chocolate. This hints at a depth of character not often attributed to death. It may symbolise the beauty within the darkest moments or signify that even in the presence of death, life, represented by colours, continues. The second part, beside the railway line, introduces the concept of loss and grief. The boy's death, the grieving mother and the unaware Liesel all paint a bleak picture of the harsh realities of life during this time period. But it also highlights human resilience, with Liesel's obliviousness hinting at the innocence of childhood, a theme that will be developed throughout the novel. In the third part, The Eclipse, you get a glimpse of the future. Death reveals that he will meet Liesel two more times in her life. This foreshadowing creates a sense of suspense, making you curious to know more about Liesel's life and the events leading to these encounters. Remember, this prologue is just the beginning. As you read on, keep these themes and characters in mind. The introduction of death as a compassionate, weary narrator sets the tone for the rest of the book. The themes of loss, grief, resilience and the beauty in dark times are all central to the story you're about to dive into. This prologue serves as a lens to view the upcoming story, which will continue to challenge and engage you as you delve deeper into Liesel's world.